and we are at my studio, The Craft Studio, and today we're going to talk about some great ideas for preschoolers playing with clay. So I like to use an air drying clay, a really light and fluffy one. Um, I try and do everything with preschoolers with clay with a few simple shapes. The first one is rolling a ball, and you can kind of get them in the habit, you know, by putting the clay in between their palms and rolling back and forth. A ball is a great way to kind of start to make anything out of clay. I like to teach them first how to make a little pinch pot, you call it, and this one is a very tiny one. They can make a little gift for grandma, maybe to put her little ring or earrings in. But all you do is you start with a ball, and then they put their thumb and their forefinger, and they pinch in the middle so it hollows it out. And then they just pinch the sides up until it starts to form like the shape of a dish. And you can make a big one, a small one. You can kind of flute the edges by pinching them. And it's just a simple thing that they can make that they feel accomplished and something that they can give to a loved one as a little gift. And you can let that air dry. Another really great shape to start with is like a log. There's so many things a little one can do with that. You start by forming a ball with their palms. And then instead of moving their palms in circular motions, I teach them to swish back and forth and you're gonna to start to make a log shape. And there's a few different things you can do with this. I like to make a coiled snake. The little ones get a huge kick out of that. So you have your log, and they're just gonna start by twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting until you have it all coiled up. And you can pinch one end to make it be the tail of the snake and form the top to kinda of come down and flatten it to be the head of the snake. Another really cool thing to do is to teach them how to make their initials. And you can do that the same way, starting with a ball and then rolling it out into a log and have them form the first letter of their first name. If you want to kind of get fancy with it, since cursive is almost a lost art, I like to teach the preschoolers how to form their first letter of their name in cursive out of clay. And it's just something that they can make that they feel proud of that you can start again with just rolling it into a ball and then into a log. And then if you want to get into something a little bit fancier, I love to kind of teach them how you can use any object to form around it to make a, a clay creature. Just a little styrofoam ball that you can get from any craft store. You just take a chunk of clay and the same thing, you're going to roll it into a ball. And then instead of forming it into a log, you're going to almost make a pancake and you're going to have them flatten it with their palms. The heel of their hand works great. Sometimes the clay, if it's really fresh out of the package, will stick a little bit to the paper. That's fine. It'll come right off. And then you just kind of fold that pancake all over the entire shape of the styrofoam ball. And then I love making a fishy out of clay with a styrofoam ball because it's super easy. You'll probably have extra clay already on there and you can kind of smooth it around so there's more towards the top of the ball and the, and the back. And you can almost make their fin by just pinching a little on the top and pinching a little on the back. And that's the shape of a fish. With paint, it's gonna look just like their favorite sea, under the sea friend. So you're gonna need about an hour for it to sit and air dry. You don't have to bake it. This is a great thing about air dry clay. You can send your little ones outside to play. You know, you, they don't have preschool homework, but maybe a little different activity while it dries for an hour and bring them back to it, which is great because I think they'll really look forward to it. And then you can just have them paint it. And a washable tempura poster paint is totally fine. It doesn't have to be permanent. You can do any color you want, even get fancy with glitter, and you can pin, paint your pinch pot and give it as a, have them give it as a great gift. They can paint their initial and their favorite color. They can paint their little snake and add it to their animal collection. And they can paint their fishy friend to look like their favorite character. All right, and those are some great ideas of things you can make with preschoolers out of clay. See you next time. Thank you.